In the last video we talked about just normal I or normal list view setup and now we're going to get into a little bit more detail with the list uh, views and different types of things that you can add to it. Now one of the items that you can do is icons. Now you can have your icons which show up on the left hand side and are basically images or you, or you can also have thumbnails. Now the thumbnails work a little bit different. They're larger images, give you a little bit more of an idea of what's going to or the content that you're going to be navigating to. Icons just are really small. In fact, the best types of icons that you can make are 16 by 16 sizes. So if you create an icon, make sure that you keep it at 16 by 16. Well, in the sample files, you already have some of that inside of that icon folder. Um, and so I'm going to copy that and paste that inside of there so I have the icons inside of that folder. And that's what we're going to do is we're going to take our list items that we have here and we're going to get rid of some of the, let's get rid of some of the icons which are on the right hand side and we're going to add an icon image which is going to show up on the left hand side. So the first thing I want to do is inside of this href tag right before the item one text I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in an image. So I'm going to say img and then it automatically has a link to my source here and my source is going to be inside of that images or inside of that icons folder I'm going to link to this us.png, which again is 16 by 16 size. So I'm going to say, I'm going to type in the path icons slash us.png. And now I'm going to end that uh, image. Well, I'm actually going to give it a class here. And so I'm going to say class equals, and I'm going to say ui-li-icon, because it's an icon. And then we're going to have uh, no corner around it. So I'm going to say just as a visual element UI. And this is a space in between this class because there's two different classes that I'm applying here. So UI dash corner and then dash none. And from there, all I have to do is actually just hit save. And then let's go ahead and I'm going to hide this simulator here. And I'm going to preview this. And you can see now we have our icon here. So if I have more than one icon, if I wanted to apply this same icon to other ones, I'm just going to copy that image tag, paste it right in front of the item at item text here. So item one, two, three, four. And but if I wanted to switch that, if I I don't have to have the US, I can have a different icon. Um, right now, that's the only icon example that I have is the US there. So, um, but that's how you apply an icon to your list items that will show up on the left hand side. Well, let's go ahead and just get rid of those images and let's talk about a thumbnail. Now a thumbnail has a little bit more screen real estate to it. So you can have a bigger image and really give the user an idea. Let me copy and paste this item and change it into two. And so that way you have more of an idea of what's going on here. Forgot one more. I accidentally deleted the the H ref tag here. There we go. So let's come into the simulator, and you'll notice the thumbnails basically just give you a bigger image. So the way that you do this is a, is similar though. So I'm going to come in here, and I already have inside of this icons folder. I have um, a nav bar, and I have a collapsible .png. Now those PNGs are set at the size of 115 by 115, so it gives us more room, in fact 100 more pixels on, on both sides to work with. Well, I'm going to attach this in the same way, so I'm going to say um, image, and we're going to say the source is going to be inside of the icons folder, and it's going to be slash collapsible, so let's spell out collapsible here. dot png for the first one and then we're going to say for the second one I'm going to copy this image tag we're going to say this one is going to be navbar but you'll notice coming back into here we have actually two different items we have a header and we also have a text description well I can add that inside of my list item so I can actually come into uh, my list items and let's get rid of actually let's um, take my header or my content area here and I'm going to add this as another space and then inside of here I'm going to have an h2 tag and I'm going to say sample item 1 
and now I'm going to have a description tag. And then inside of there is going to be P. And I'm going to say sample text. And that's going to be a P tag. And I'll do the same thing here. Let me just copy this. Go into item 2. Hit a space. And I'm going to paste that in there and say sample item 2. And that way it just gives me a little bit more of a description on each of those. But now if I hit save and preview, there's my image on the left hand side and my text and then my, my paragraph text right below it. Um, now if I wanted to add on the image, I can actually within uh, a class item, so come into here and say class equals and within quotes, I'm going to say UI dash shadow what will happen is it's really faint to see but you'll notice that there's a little shadow on the image because so it makes it pop a little bit more you don't have to do that on the class but that's how you would add it on the class so one more item um, now I already have this built but you'll notice the formatted we've done the same thing here we have uh, kind of sample text we have our image on the left hand side but we also have other additional stuff so within here within the section um, section divider we have content so here we have list divider and then I have Friday October 8th 2010 and then I have a UI a span that has a, U, a UI dash LI dash count which is two now within the list items we do the same thing but we can start adding even additional text so I can have here um, P tag and then I have a strong item which basically has another item inside of that list and then I'm saying, okay, UI dash LI dash aside equals the text, which is this uh, 624 PM. And that just adds on more content. And then I have my paragraph text. So you can get as descriptive as you want with these list items. Um, and then the final thing is the collapsible. Now, what we're going to learn about collapsibles later, but within a div tag, we have this collapsible, we have a theme, and then we have the counts, uh, the content theme, which is equals B, which is what makes the content area. And then inside of there, I have this basic UI list view with the data filter turned on. So within the collapsible, we can take these list views and we can make them, uh, place them inside of the collapsible, which will only show on the collapsible. And so that's how you use the content. Um, that's how you format your list views. And that's how you place them inside of collapsibles and other items.